Dave from Beer Engineers and Hoop for Review. We've got a beer from Track, and this is Sea of Stars, an 8% double IPA, and it's a single hopper with Nelson Sorvin. And on the back it says that it is brewed with barley, oats and wheat. We like. Um, let's get it out into a glass and see. So, just wipe it. Wipe the top. So, Ig in Nottingham, friend of the channel, occasional guest. What's up, me? And he's raving about this. And we rarely disagree on anything, and that includes beer. So I'm expecting I'm gonna I'm gonna love this. It's just a lively one. So we've got a good three fingers of loose white head, aggressively poured. It looks the bollocks. Yeah, it's it's definitely into porridge territory there. Yeah, yeah, it's got that. I love it when you've got that almost luminosity. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like um, <laughs> I'm trying to think uh, from the Simpsons, it's like the radioactive water. Yeah, that radioactive yellowy green, which doesn't sound appealing, but I know what I like, and I like what I know, and I like oaty hop juice on the nose. Oh, there's complexity there. It's not just stone fruit. Oh, I think this is going to be a dank one, you know. Oh, there's a real complex. So you've got stone fruit, but you've got complex dankness to it. Now, people say with Nelson Sorvin, they get white grape. I've had that occasionally, but I rarely get that, you know. I'm getting that here. Is that is that like, tan, like tannins? Maybe I've probably just... Probably just mind bitched from other people saying it. Um, what I am getting is tropical and then like a a complex earthy dank. It smells delicious, I gotta say. Let's dive in. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, so we've got, we've got the stone fruit. The, there's not a, a, a deep, earthy, woody dank, but there's, there is a dank. A faintly bitter dank. Maybe there is a bit of whininess about this. But there is tropical, there is faint bitter dank. Like most track double IPAs I've had, they're slight, just just a mic, you know, just a quarter of a, a, a notch sweeter than I like them, which is negating from its quaffability. But you're not going to be drinking well. <laughs> You'd know better if you in the morning if you were if you were drinking this by the pint, so that's not an issue. That's, that's delicious. That's a really well done single hopper. Lovely can art as well. Big, you're not wrong. It's quality, but I've got a whole range of um, track double IPA. So I don't know what's happened to track. Um, last year they were. They did some some releases. I had a box from last year, but after Christmas, it's just been release after release after release. I mean, the amount of doubles and seven percenters and and whatnot. You know, things that, that, that particularly my speed they've been releasing. They are in my top two of the year so far with Overtone, but the year is long. Let's see how they get on. Rating. I'm giving that eight and a half out of ten. Which is bloody good from me, yeah. So eight and a half out of ten from Sea of Stars from Track. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.